welcome to another video. I work on the Wild Side and I am here in Blackpool. It's a bit like I'm in the red light district at the moment, doesn't it? It's all a little bit, uh, a little bit red around. I'm actually on Church Street and uh, um, I'm actually not too far away from the red light district. I'm not too far away from Cookson Street. Uh, so I'm on Church Street at the moment at the junction of um, Park Road just over there. This road here is called Grosvenor Street. That leads up to leads up towards Sainsbury's. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk through town. I'm going to try and mix up a little bit and walk through some different areas. I'm going to walk through back into the red light again. We'll check out Cookson Street. It's just up here. It's a Friday night. Uh, let's see what's going on, shall we? Tell you what, it's pretty busy here. So this street is called Grosvenor Street and that leads up towards the Sainsbury. It takes you up towards North Station. Just up there is where they're looking to build that uh, new university, Blackpool Council, as we look this way. Oh, can you see the tower there? Ooh, look at the tower, all lit up. So I'm going to make my way through town. I'll try and make my way through a different part of town. It's a Friday night. How busy is it going to be? I'm just outside this uh, furniture shop here. It's called Choices furniture sale now i think they've always got a sale on it and they always got a sale on at furniture shops dfs sale now on it's always they've always got a sale on oh look they've got trees on this road here look trees we have got trees here on church street yeah just over here we've got a big car park I suspect there used to be some building here. I don't know what though. I know they've knocked a few things down around here lately. But uh, this is the Corn Street and Church Street car park there. Oh, I'll tell you something, they keep the bushes nice, look. Nicely chopped bushes there. Not too bad, £6.30 for nine hours. What do you reckon? That's just across the road from the Regent. There you go, the Regent Cinema there, look. We've got some quite newish looking flats here as well. Oh, by the way, that used to be where the Alpine Centre was there. You see that building there, this, this one here? Was that the Alpine Centre? You know, the outdoor clothing, the skiing? I think it was. Yeah, it was there for years. I'll tell you how I know about the Alpine Centre. It was the minister of our church, Waterloo Methodist Church. They always used to rave about it in the olden days when we used to go to church in the in the 70s yeah anyway now then we are now up to cookson street this is cookson street folks this is the red light area of blackpool so just down there we've got a lot of massage parlors saunas you name it and and they're all pretty much open. Natalie's is open. I checked out the door past before. Natalie's is always open. So they've got quite a few of those places around here. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go down Regent Road. So let's have a look at the Regent. It's not open at the moment, but it, it is running. They have like an antique fair on the ground floor, and you can watch you can watch films here. You can you can watch films here at the region, isn't it brilliant? You can watch an afternoon. Is it a matinee? I'm not sure if this shop's open on the corner. It doesn't look like it's open. Regent Chambers. Doesn't look very appealing in there, does it? Do people live in there? It's got five letterboxes. Cleveland's cooling. Is that a shop or? Wow, 
doesn't look like it's uh, doesn't look like it's open. Anyway, this is Regent Road. The thing about Regent Road is there is a there is a, a property down here where a, a famous murder happened. Yeah, a bride in the back murder happened at one of these properties down here. I think it was this one just over the road. If you look over the road there, there's a, a grey property, that one there. What the hell? Bit of noise going on here. That one there, number 16 Regent Road was where one of the bride in the bath murders happened, yeah. Alice Burnham. She was one of his many victims, yeah. He murdered quite a few. John, what's it, what was his name? John Joseph Smith or something. Some strange characters down that way there. I'm going to head this way. Down Adelaide Street. We're at the top of Adelaide Street. Check it out. Now the bottom of this street ends up, you know where the Woolworth building is? On the other side of... Um... My goodness, what a racket. The other side of uh, the Hounds Hill Centre, because this road, we're at the top of the hill here. It goes down a hill, round the back of the, the Winter Gardens, and then you've got the Hounds Hill Centre. Bloody hell. What a racket. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Right, so anyway, the tower's looking nice, look at that. This building on the right hand side is the Masonic. We're just coming up to the Masonic Hall here. Got some nice railings. So this is the Blackpool Masonic Hall. Have they got any symbols on the railings? I know they've got a blue plaque. Blackpool Masonic Hall. I won't look at it because it's too dark. But there you go, the Masonic Hall. Have we got any Freemasons watching? The lights are on. I wonder if they're in there doing the doing the thing. What about the railings? Uh, I have seen Masonic Halls where they have the, the scales and all that sort of stuff on the railings, but not, not on this one. But it is... Uh, it is quite a, it is, oh they've got them on there, I don't know if you can see up there, they've got them up there. I can see the, uh, the is it the compass and that there, so that's, that's the Masonic Hall. And it's here on Adelaide Street, and oh look at that, we are a little bit high up here folks. We are, we are quite high up. And we get a great view of the tower. And there are some quite fancy buildings. What's this one here? Look at the entrance of that. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like the back of the... We've got a pharmacy there. I mean, look at that door right there. Look at that arch over the door. Got railings on the windows as well. That's not a good sign, is it? Uh, just over here we've got... Is that a doctor's practice? I think it is. It's the uh, Pharmasense Pharmacy. It is open, I think, but we've got the shutters down. Again, look at the entrance. You know what? I'm not sure if this is running, actually. What an entrance, though. The, uh, the, the door's got a, a board on the, on the letterbox, so... I'm not really sure what that's all about, but anyway, we're going gonna to carry on down here. Next door to that, we've got a bit of spare land where it looks like there was probably something there in the olden days and they knocked it down, what do you reckon? That road there is called... You know what, I don't know. Is it Alfred Street? Oh, Alfred Street. This road here is called Alfred Street. Alfred Street, we've got a Comfort Inn on the corner. Um, if we go up this way, that takes you towards, takes you back towards Church Street up there and Topping Street. So we've got a car park here. Now this is the car park where they're looking to, they're looking to build another hotel. 
on that site there. You see that site? Yeah, they're looking to build another hotel here. I'll tell you what, I can see a lot of um, projections coming from that room there. They've got some fancy lights going around in there, like disco lights in there. Look, in the Comfort Inn Hotel. Looks quite swanky, that, doesn't it? So as I, as I make my way down this way, we now come up to the, the Winter Gardens. Now this road that goes across here is called Leopold Grove. And if I look up that way, we get to see the brand new state-of-the-art entrance to the conference centre of the Winter Gardens, just up there. This here is the entrance to the Empress Ballroom. So if you ever go to a gig at the Winter Gardens, this is... I think you can go in here, but they tend to bring... Uh, it tends to be like a... You know, like a trade entrance where they bring a load of stuff in. When they had the darts on, they brought all the, the stuff in there and that's where the dart players went in. If I look this way down Leopold Grove, we get to see trees. Look, they've got trees here on Leopold Grove. That's a nice looking building there, isn't it? Look, the White House, bed and breakfast, fancy looking structure there. Accrington Brick, nice, nice doorway there as well. Adelaide Lodge. Quite a nice little hotel, that, isn't it? So I'm heading down the hill now. We're almost at the bottom. And uh, I did come down here a while back when the darts were on. And there was a hotel down here that's empty. Not that one. The, what's that one called? The Arncliffe? The Arncliffe? That was quite swanky. I can hear Abba. That's the one that's empty there, the Dukeries. Look, there you go. That hotel. It's empty. I think that I might have to... Uh, I think I might have to cut the music... If I, if I cut the music out... If I, if I cut it here, it's because of ABBA. They've got ABBA playing in there. And the, and the Orbiston. Ooh! They're having a bit of a party in there. An ABBA party. Check it out. There you go. A bit rowdy outside there at the Orbiston. But I'm coming down to the bottom of. Got another hotel here, look, Adelaide House. It's quite swanky, doesn't it? Got some lines at the front as well. But as we come down this way, you can see we've got this big building in front of us which is the Hounds Hill Centre and we've got the Backlot Cinema as well and in the olden days you used to be able to walk straight down and straight through get through to Woolworths but as you can see now well I can hear music coming from in there there must be some sort of gig that's Olympia by the way in there they must have a gig on but this is the the Backlot Cinema look at that pretty grand isn't it there you go, check it out. I'll tell you what I'll do now. Let's go this way, shall we? Down Coronation Street. I forgot to mention as well before that I'm suffering from a foot condition. Yeah, I've got plantar fasciitis and it's playing up a little bit, so it's restricting me walking a bit, so I'm just... I'm not going to walk too much in this video if I can help it. Uh, it's just a quick one. Well, I say a quick one. It'll probably turn out to be about half an hour, this video, won't it? But anyway, um, hopefully it'll pass and uh, I'll be back to normal soon. But uh, yeah, plantar fasciitis, yeah, it's, uh, it's not a lot of fun. Well, I tell you what, it sounds like there's a rave going on in Olympia. If anyone could let me know what it is. Tell me in the comments, yeah. So this is Coronation Street. Got some empty shops here. That one's empty over there. This one's empty as well.
making my way past the Debenhams. This used to be Debenhams, of course. Now it's uh, loads of other stuff taking over. Just coming up to the junction with Albert Road. This is Albert Road. So if we look that way, we're looking back up the hill. That's the Ruskin Hotel, which is all lit up there. Just on the corner here, we've got a tattoo studio and a building that says table dancing on it up there. They used to do table dancing in there. Got a shop on the corner there that's all shut up. I remember that was selling furniture last time, second hand furniture. But not anymore. So this is Albert Road. What have we got here? Got the Walford Hotel over there. Next to that we've got the we've got the Calypse Hotel. The Calypse Hotel. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> the Calypse Hotel. We've got an Indian next door, an Indian restaurant and bar. I've not seen that before. That looks fancy. We've got an empty building next door to that. Look at the state of that there, look. Bloody hell, that doesn't look like it's had much done to it for a while, does it? Look. Wow. It's a shame, isn't it, when you've got these nice places like that there, the Indian, and you've got these nice hotels, the one next door, and the, the next door to something like that there. It's terrible, isn't it? Got another one down here, look. Look at that building there. That is massive, and that's all empty as well. some quite nice looking hotels down here in between the empty ones this one's called the West Home and the Trenton nice looking entrances to them uh, I'm just now around oh look at that view of the tower there look at that Blackpool Tower yeah, I'm now currently where the old Argos used to be. There used to be a road here. This used to be a road that went round. It went round, this, this road. It was like a, an L-shaped road. And they used to have Argos on the corner. Argos used to be here where the, this is now the job centre. So this is the job centre, it says it there, assessment centre. Reminds me a bit of a betting shop in the olden days. Remember when the betting shops used to have like, used to not let you see inside? It's all a bit mysterious, isn't it? Yeah, frosted windows. They don't want you to see inside. This was pound stretcher. Not anymore. So that's another big empty shop there to let. Look how much they want for that. So we're now up to the McDonald's and we're getting the bright lights now. The bright lights of Blackpool Town Centre and Coral Island. So we're looking towards Coral Island now. Let's turn around and I'll show you. So we've got a row of taxis over there. Let's have a look at the tower. There you go. Let's have a look at McDonald's. We've got some people lying outside. Begging. Uh, this is the Edith Centre, by the way. Check it out. If you look up there, look. Yeah, what a racket. The Edith Centre. That building. Yeah. Pity the clock wrong. Yeah, all clocks are always wrong on these buildings, aren't they? So, and if you go this way, this is Central Drive. 
and that takes you up to where it's a little bit scruffy up there and there's empty shops and I've, you know I've covered it many times on the channel so, so this is the start of Central Drive right here and I'm back in the red again I can't believe it yeah so I'm finishing the video here I think I've given my foot um, enough punishment for for one night and hopefully this uh, this plantar fasciitis will, uh, will go away. I'm going to try working on it. I did put a post on the channel the other night saying that I had it and if anyone had any tips. So I'm going to try and see if I can um, try some of those try some of those tips and see if it uh, gets any better. But there you go. That was a little look around Blackpool. Um, I've done my best. Uh, it's not always oh, gone green now. <laughs> I'm stood next to the Pelican Crossing. So there you go, that's it for this video. Um, I've done my best. Um, hopefully the foot condition will improve and then I'll be able to get out properly again. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. And it's gone back to red.